Along the shore, the cloud waves break. Good evening, and welcome to tonight's episode of Lost Carcosa. This is a playthrough of the Path to Carcosa storyline for Arkham Horror, the card game. Tonight, specifically, we're going to be playing a Phantom of Truth, or rather, Return to a Phantom of Truth, since we're doing the Return to Director's Cut version of the Path to Carcosa. So, the story so far. Our investigators, Lola and Min here, they had just managed to escape Arkham Asylum in uh, The Unspeakable Oath. They've just managed to escape Arkham Asylum with their minds and bodies intact, just barely as you might have seen and then they decide to set sail across the atlantic on the ss constellation which was um covered in the previous video but before they set sail then um, they need a reason to go across the atlantic so we're going to cover the um interlude which takes place between the asylum and the scenario a phantom of truth so when they managed to get out of the asylum, uh, Daniel Chesterfield was not in play because, um, as you may or may not remember, he was eaten by some host of insanity, big tentacle monster, which was living literally under his bed. So he did not survive. So Lolan Min, you decide to lay low for some time in Ma's boarding house, unsure whether the news of the events at the asylum will get out to the general public. Ma's boarding house, uh, I, I guess they maybe their time at the... Uh, at the uh, Excelsior Hotel had to come to a close. I mean, I'd imagine they'd live at the Excelsior instead, but I guess I guess it is what it is. You take this time to make extensive notes of the events you've experienced thus far, including the brief dialogue between you and Daniel. It was very brief. He had spoken of the King in Yellow as if it were an actual being and even named it Hostar. He'd rambled and muttered and screeched other phrases as well. You doubt you'll ever forget them. He made us speak the oath. The price was paid. They are opening the path to Carcosa. For hours you think about Daniel's warning to you, which he begged you to heed. Do not speak his name. His final moments play out in your mind over and over again. Yeah, I imagine they would not, they're not going to soon forget the monster under Daniel's bed. Okay, so they're, they believe that, you know, the lowland men, they believe that something awful is going on, so they're going to heed his warning. For hours... You struggle with this insight into the King in Yellow. What is true? What is real? Only you can sort through this madness. Okay, so we have heeded Daniel's warning. Okay. All right, and let's see what happens as a result. We're going to get two conviction as a result of this. So we are 100% believers in uh, the nastiness. Okay, so we're going to earn an additional experience. Okay, I'll have to remember that. And for the remainder of the campaign, we're not going to be able to speak the name of the yellow king or else we're gonna to have to immediately take a whore that seems bad okay so now um at this point they um we're gonna take we're gonna head into a phantom of truth okay the king did not claim its victim so we're gonna to go to intro two here it has been several weeks since the events in the asylum and you are still no closer to the truth about the king in yellow and carcosa you have scoured the cities the city for signs of the others Daniel had mentioned, the ones who were opening the path to Carcosa, but found nothing. Either the trail has gone cold, or they're no longer in Arkham. Perhaps da Daniel truly was insane, and you're only following him deeper down the rabbit hole. Every night, you toss and turn as you are subjected to vivid dreams of Carcosa, its black stars, twin suns, shattered moons, and twisted spires. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna go into a dream sequence here, okay? Where's dream one, dream one? Oh, here it is. You fall through the empty abyss of Hali. Creatures of unknown and impossible origin lurk just beyond the darkness of your sight. The big man looms above you, magnificent and yet bound in his prison of madness, manipulating your torturous descent with a soul outstretched arm. Okay, so what's going to happen here is we're going to... Um, Will and Min are both going to earn a copy of this weakness, Lost Soul. So this is going to be Lola's seventh weakness, in fact. So what's going to happen here is that whenever either of them draw it, they have more conviction than doubt at this point. So they're going to make a willpower test at X, where X is their um, intellect. And if they fail, they're going to take two damage. 
um, as a result of this lost soul weakness. Well, both of them, their willpower and intellect are the same. So this is actually quite a difficult test to make. They're not lopsided. Okay, so that's what happened there. Then we go to dream two here. Constance, yeah, we remember her. She was uh, with us in the asylum. Constance takes your hand and pulls you onto the polished dance floor. Come now, don't be shy. Tonight is a night for dancing, for celebration. Oh dear. Okay, so we did not. the king did not claim its victims. We did not intrude on a secret meeting. We did not slay the monsters at the dinner party, right? I don't see any of that. We fled the dinner party instead. Okay, so we go to dream number six. Where is that? Here we go. The lights of the theater dim and a spotlight shines on the stage. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the creature exclaims. Ah, oh, yes, from a curtain call. Its many tentacles reach across the stage, up into the rafters, and throughout the aisles. It tears the curtains down, and tattered red cloth falls over its bulbous form. Okay, so um, the police are not suspicious of us. Okay, we are fine. So we go to dream number eight. You peer into the mirror, and the stranger appears back at you. His gaze drills into your mind. The mirror shatters. Okay, so we only have, we've only managed to chase the stranger twice. So we go to dream nine here. Okay. You chase the stranger through dark, chilly passageways composed of hundreds of thousands of skeletal bodies. Skulls watch as you run, their mouths rattling a mocking taunt as you pass. The stranger reaches a solid wall of bone and is grabbed by bony hands and pulled into the wall. Their mocking laughs reach an awful crescendo. Okay, that's uh, pretty creepy. So we go to number 13. Daniel's voice calls out to you. They are opening the path to Carcosa. So now we, we wake up. You awaken from your fitful dream, sweating and gagging. This cannot go on, any, go on any longer. You have only one option if you are cont to continue your investigation. You must find Nigel Engram, the director of The King in Yellow and architect of this madness. Only he will have the answers you seek. You pack your bags and plan your trip to Paris, the City of Lights. Okay, uh, we did not interview Jordan, so we just um, yep, head right to the scenario here. Okay, so I imagine that while they're on their way to Paris, that's when they board the SS Constellation, and then they um, experience the events that, um, that they experienced uh, in the previous video. So now here we are in Paris. We've got a nice, creepy Notre Dame Cathedral um, you know, overlooking our, uh, our board here. So let's take a look at the decks. All right, so they actually gained quite a bit of XP in consternation on the constellation. So let's see what I use them on, the XP on. So Lola, I decided to go a little bit more into uh, offense. So I've added two copies of 41 Derringer, um, level two. I really like this card because, um, mainly because if you, um, you have three chances at getting an extra action when you uh, take a shot with a 41 Derringer. Three ammo means, you know, three chances at getting an extra action. So um, if it's like an important turn and Lola boosts up to be like four over on her test and then she draws a minus one, 41 Derringer kind of refunds some of the costs that she paid to uh, test so highly by giving her an extra action. I like this card a lot. It's a ton of fun. I've also picked up another copy of Haste because this is proving to be uh, very solid for her. Um, she's doing a pretty good job of being able to chain together um, like activates and um, move actions. So I picked up another copy of Haste. And I've decided to just go with the uh, Rogue Extra Action theme by adding in two copies of Quick Thinking as well. So we're going we're gonna to see if she can have explosive turns using all these, uh, these new Rogue cards here. Over to Min. So what she's used her XP on is, first of all, I picked up a, a copy of Level 4 Logical Reasoning in order to cure lots of horror. Because, yeah, we're taking horror, and it'd be nice to cure more of it. Um, I've also added two copies of this card, Expeditious Retreat. And the reason why is that I've been noticing that Min has been doing a lot of evasion, even though her evasion is a two. She's doing a pretty good job of it just by using her um, Dream Diary. But I decided that with Expeditious Retreat, that'll add some action compression when, we're, when we have like swarms of enemies like we did in the Asylum. So what's going to happen here is this will let this will let Min um, evade two things at once. Um, or she can commit it to Lola to let Lola evade two things at once. So this will be kind of handy. We were also having this trouble with the some trouble with this um, at the end of Constellation on the Constellation. We just kind of got sworn by enemies all at once. It seems to be occurring around Act 3. Like if, if we have to like shuffle the encounter deck and the discard pile together and we have to add some enemies to the encounter deck, um, we start getting swarmed. 
And that's around the same time that Lola is starting to have trouble with, so she'll start running out of ammo. So we need to start evading, which means I think Expeditious Retreat is going to help solve that problem that seems to be coming up for the two of them. And then I've also added a leather coat because, um, first of all, not only do we have Lost Soul, that's going to add some extra damage, but um, Min was, see, in the p previous few scenarios, she's been having some issues being uh, on the border when it comes to damage and unable to play her, um, like her Dark Pact in order to um, clear her Dark Pact. So I've added a leather coat to kind of help out with that. She's not using her body slot for anything else, and it's um, you know it doesn't cost anything. So I decided to just go with that. All right, so that's our decks. Now let's um, let's take a look at Paris here. All right, so Act One: The Parisian Conspiracy. So the reason why we chose Version Two here is because we have more conviction than we do doubt. So this is the version we've been given. You pass the Church of Saint Barnaba. As you exit the train station and cannot help but overhear the organ playing, is there a sermon this late in the evening? You marvel at the wild and strange chords for a moment before continuing. Paris is a big city and you have very few leads. Okay, so we need to get four clues. Um, I'm guessing before there's three doom in play because this is going to advance um, regardless. So I'm guessing getting four clues is probably good. Okay, meanwhile, over here, Agenda 1, the first night. As you step off the train in Gare d'Orsay, the sun sinks below the Paris skyline. You cannot waste any time. If Nigel Ingram is somewhere in Paris, you have to find him and wring the answers from him one way or another. Okay, oh, I kind of like this. You know, you got these like, get almost like this Carcosa-like twin suns over Paris here. Yeah, that's kind of neat. Or is it twin moons or, or whatever? Yeah, it's either Tatooine or uh, Carcosa. Okay, so while we have more conviction than doubt, which we do... um. When checking the Doom threshold, Doom on cards other than the agenda subtract from the total Doom in play instead of adding to it. So what's going to happen here is that there's a reason why this scenario, A Phantom of Truth, is one of my favorites. So this kind of, um, if you have the Conviction Path, um, this scenario kind of flips upside down what Doom means. So what our, um, our objective here is we're going to try to survive the night. And uh, the way to re the way the game it represents time passing is uh, doom. As doom accumulates, that means more time has passed, and we get closer to dawn, and we get closer to our obje our our actual objective of surviving. So um, I, I I I like this a lot. It's going to be really interesting. It's almost as if uh, you know we we want doom to uh, hit the board because it means that we're uh, we're going to be surviving. Okay, so that covers, I think, everything here, and uh, let's go to draw opening hands. Okay, let's get started. So since we need four clues in three rounds, that's um, that gives us quite a bit of time. So I think I'm going to look for things like Derringer and Haste Perfect to um, you know, help us get set up when it comes to uh, assets. I don't think I'm going to need two Derringers, though, so I'm mulligan that one, and I'm mulligan the Eurekas as well as I search for more... Um, assets to uh, get started okay oh track shoes that's good to see okay so we have a pretty decent starting hand here between the um we've got haste we've got a weapon we've got track shoes i think the question is which one are we going to play first um so I'll, I'll think about that in a sec uh over here we've got min okay so her whoops <laughs> oh no card <laughs> that's funny Oh, they came back to me. Okay, I think I, I flung them a little too far there. That was pretty funny. So what do we have here? Ooh, we've got some clue gathering. We've got the Dream Diary, which is nice. Extensive research. I'm not going to be able to afford that early on, so I'll mulligan that away. I'll keep the deduction for multi-cluing. And let's go search out some more assets. Okay, oh, there's our lab assistant. Don't want the king in yellow just yet. Don't want that just yet. And we get an unexpected courage. Okay, so we actually have a pretty good start with Min, I think. We've got our Grizzly Totem, we've got a Lab Assistant, we've got some Multi-Cluing. So we're actually in pretty good shape. Don't get that either. Alright, so I think we're going to have Mingo first, and then Lola, I think we're going to start off with her playing Rogue. So that way she can get the Derringer down. And that way, um, if we draw a bad guy, she doesn't have to spend an action playing a Derringer later. Okay, so let's... Um, we start off here at Garodose. Built in 1900, this train station was the first urban station in the world to use only electric trains. We have two clues here. It's Shroud 4, which is quite a bit. You'd expect the station to be bustling, but it is eerily abandoned, save for a few passengers who wander the station in slow, meandering steps. 
Okay, and as an action, we can spend a resource to move to any rail location, which is kind of cool. Um, so the rail locations are going to be Gare de Say, um, Upper Garnier, Montmartre, Le Marais, Notre Dame, and Montparnasse. You see, they all have the rail uh, tags. So that way, it's like from here, you can go to any of the stops um, along this circle that seems to um, encircle Paris. I think that's, that's, that's kind of neat. All right, so we're going to start off with Min. We'll see if she draws like a crack the case, maybe to help Lola with resources. It is Shroud 4, which is quite a bit. So let's see how we do. First action, we're going to play Lab Assistant. Okay, and let's see what we get. Okay, another Dream Diary. So we didn't really need this. Um, okay, I want to get both those clues. We are, okay, we're currently at four. If I play Deduction and trigger Min, that would put us up to. Four, five, six versus four, which is decent. Let's see. Skulls are minus zero right now, so that's good. We also have elder things in the bag, and they're minus two. Okay, so we're probably going to be all right, especially since we have the um, the lucky to back us up. We have two negative threes and a negative four that could cause us to fail, and of course the tentacle. All right, so we have lucky to back us up. Okay, so um, Let's second action. Let's get the uh, dream diary into play for sure. So that way we can uh, get our essence of the dream rolling. Another possibility is I could just wait till next turn and then the um, essence of the dream will be four question marks. I'm not sure what I would do with my third action though. Yeah, I wouldn't do very much with my third action. So let's just go for it. All right, third action, I'll investigate, put in the seduction, and I'll trigger min to be at six versus four. Okay, let's just go for it. Minus two, so that's a success, and we get both clues. Okay, so that's a good start for us. Okay. If I draw a crack the case on the top, that'll be, uh, then I'll have to hit myself. All right, Lola, let's, um, we start off as rogue. The reason why is because I wanted to get this derringer into play could i trigger could i do anything cool with haste probably not because i only have five resources i mean the the closest thing i'd be able to do with haste is maybe go haste and then move three times which i don't have, see any reason to do okay so first action we'll play the derringer so that way we're set up to deal with any bad guys who show up i think hmm I can move to Opera, the Opera Garnier. I can move to Gardens of Luxembourg. I can move to Montparnasse. Good question. Where to go next? Maybe I can go do some investigations. Yeah, that seems like a decent plan. All right, so second action. Let's move to Eeny, Meeny, Miny, Mo. Uh, let's go here. Let's we'll go to the Gardens of Luxembourg. Okay, so second action, move to the Gardens. The Gardens of Luxembourg Palace contain hundreds of scattered statues, monuments, and fountains. It would make for a relaxing walk if you hadn't come here to escape the winged creatures that screech and soar in the dark sky overhead. Oh dear, be a keys. Okay, um, oh, it's worth a victory point. That's cool. It's only two shroud. Okay, and it says here, after you enter Gardens of Luxembourg, if there's at least one be a key enemy in play, we'd reveal a random token, and on a spooky token, they would, I guess, congregate back here at the gardens. Well, I guess it's good that we came here now and not later. It's worth a victory point, so I think, and it's only uh, Shroud 2, so I think we'll have Lola investigate it. So we went first action Derringer, second action move. Let's swap to Seeker, play our Magnifying Glass um, as a fast action, and then third action, we'll investigate at four versus two. Uh, that's a failure, but that's okay. We didn't commit anything, so it's all right. All right, so uh, there are new bad guys on the board. Um, I think this was a pretty good starting turn. We're going to get this rolling. That's going to be nice. Okay, and we've got some draw coming to us. We'll have to, we'll have to get a little bit of money, though. All right, so we're going to go to upkeep. Lola gets an act of desperation. That'll be nice when this runs out. We'll be able to uh, you know, do two more damage and keep going. It could also be useful as for its two combat icons. Over to Min, we're going to get a sharp vision. Okay, so the next location we hit that has two clues, sharp vision will help us out. Okay, that's pretty nice. All right, new turn. We go to one doom out of six. Um, let's remember that we're gonna we're trying to get to four clues before the end of the round in which we place the third doom. So I guess turn four, unless we draw up some doom on you know from the encounter deck. Give that encounter deck a shuffle for good luck. Okay, and let's see what we get. Here we go. Okay, Lola twisted to his will. 
Okay, so there's one doom in play. We're going to make a test of three versus one, and if we fail, discard two cards from our hand at random. That could be really bad, but I have no way to boost it, so we're just going to have to take it on the chin and get a minus one. So good for us. Okay, and over here, we're going to get marked by the sign. Okay, we're making a test at four versus two, and if we fail, we take two horror. Okay, that's not so bad. We'll just take it on the chin. Four versus two, zero. All right, we're okay. Okay, so the encounter the counter deck didn't really do anything bad to us. So I think at this point, let's try to get these two clues before um, Biaki show up. So I think I'm going to have Lola go first and go to grab them. She's testing at four versus two on Investigate. I think that'd be a nice thing to do um, a couple of times. I can't afford to play haste and then get three investigates. So I think I'm just going to have to test twice and then move out. Okay, here we go. So first action, we'll investigate at four versus two. Uh, that's a success. Second action, we'll do it again. Also a success. Okay, so we've got our four clues. Let's see, that's good. Do we have to advance? Okay, so we can, we'll wait till next turn to advance, I think, or maybe even the turn after. Okay. Yeah, we'll wait a little bit. Let's build up. Okay, so that was two actions. Third action, we can head down to Mart Parna uh, Mon Parnas or Notre Dame. Let's go to Mon Parnas. Let's uh, get it over with, so that way we don't have to come back. Okay, third action, we'll head down here. This area is known for its cafes and bars and is often frequented by starving artists. Perhaps some of these creative types will become famous someday. Most, you assume, will fade into obscurity. Okay, and okay, it's uh, only Shroud 2. It's got two clues. And as, an, as a non-action, you can discard a card from your hand to gain resources equal to the number of willpower icons on the discarded card limit once per round. Interesting. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have anything to take advantage of that with, so that's too bad. Um, well, that's interesting. There may be some resource gain possibilities here. Okay, so that was all three of Lola's actions. Um, do we want to stay a Seeker? Probably not. I think I'm going to swap over to... Let's do Survivor. So that way we can um, play our Crack Shoes next turn. And then we'll be able to get rolling. Another possibility is I could swap to Rogue, knowing that next turn we can just play the Haste and get possibly three investigates that seems even better all right over here um, do we want min to get these clues or do we want her to go somewhere else hmm we start off by getting the essence of the dream maybe she can take advantage of discarding a card to uh get some extra resources like maybe she can move discard play grizzly totem hmm yeah, I guess the question is, do we want to um, split up from Lola, or do we want to stay next to her? I think we'll have Min go to Notre Dame, actually. So two moves and maybe an investigate with sharp vision. Okay, that seems pretty good. All right, let's 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 keep moving here. Um, she could spend a resource to save an action by taking the, re taking the train. Um, nah, I'd rather not. Well, I can always get it back later by... Um, Taking an action to spend to get spending an action to get a resource. All right, let's do that. Okay, so first action we'll head over here to Notre Dame, the most famous cathedral in all of Paris, and one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in the world. Notre Dame de Paris, Our Lady of Paris, is an icon of the city. Light shines out from its stained glass windows, and you can hear a pipe organ inside blaring a bizarre, chaotic melody. Yeah, it looks pretty creepy. I mean, with that purple light just firing out of there. Okay, so it's Shroud 3 with two clues. Each enemy at Notre Dame gets minus one fight and plus one evade. Okay. And then as an action, you can test willpower at six. If you succeed, either place one doom on the agenda or remove one doom from the agenda. Oh, that's handy. I don't think I, I am in a good place to do it right now, and I don't think I want to. But maybe later, this might be kind of important. Group limit once per game. Okay. Do I want to bias another turn? Not really, because... Yeah, we've got the number of clues we need. We're just hanging out for a little while. So I've still got two actions left. Let's, um, I think let's go for an investigation. Okay, that sounds good. Do I want to pitch in the sharp vision? It's only shroud three. Maybe I'll wait on sharp vision. Well, I definitely do want to take a resource. So that way next turn I can afford to play Grizzly Totem. Okay. So I'd like to get both these clues in one action if I can. Is it worth playing the sharp vision though? 
No, I'll, since we're not pressured, I'll wait till next turn to uh, get the second clue. So I think I'll go second action, I'll take a resource. And third action, let's, uh, let's go for it. We'll use our Essence of the Dream, so that'll put us 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then trigger Min for 7 versus 3. Seems good. Plus 1? Okay, so we get one of the clues. Okay, and that goes out of play. Okay, so that went pretty well. Is that all our actions? Yep, investigate, investigate, move. We're in good shape here. Okay, so we're going to go to upkeep. We've got a quick thinking, nice, and our third resource, so we can play haste next turn. And over here, we've got a magnifying glass, also nice, and our third resource, so we can play our grizzly totem. Now we can start drawing cards off of our essence of the dream, so that'll be pretty nice. Okay, so new turn. We are at two doom out of, well, I guess out of three, kinda. And let's see what we get. Ooh, we've got Bia Keys. Okay, so this one is a five to fight, but if he's a, once we've evaded it, it becomes a two to fight. If you can hear the if you can hear the beating of its leathery wings, it's already too late. Okay, Lola's gonna have to deal with this. Okay, and over here, marked by the sign. Okay, so we just have to test willpower in order to um, avoid taking two horror. I'm fine with that. So we'll test it four versus two. That seems fine. Uh, success. So we are good. All right. So main event. Lola needs to uh, deal with this Bia key. Right now, she's, um, if I use the Derringer, she's at a six versus five, which is not very good. I don't want to take an AO. Okay. Yeah, she might need some help on this. From Min might need to help her here, because five is a lot. She's only at three versus three to evade. I could pitch in the Act of Desperation. That would put her at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus five, but then we're still unlikely to get two damage, which is what I need. Hmm. Okay. It'd be nice to play haste, but that would provoke. All right, so I think she's actually gonna need Min's, gonna need Min's help with this at this point, because five is quite a bit. All right, so I think I'll have Min um, get the clue off of Notre Dame, come down to Mount Montparnasse, and be able to help out with the Stealthy Bia Key. That seems pretty good. All right, so Min, let's start with her. We'll play this magnifying glass as a fast action. So when I uh, investigate, I'll be at five versus three. That seems pretty good. I think we'll be okay. Oh, that we get that. So first action, we'll investigate. Five versus three. Oh, that's a failure. Uh, second action. Oh, uh, I wanted to play my Grizzly Totem. I wanted to be able to move and play Grizzly Totem. Okay, we'll come back to that clue. Second action, I'll play Grizzly Totem. Third action, we'll move down here to help Lola. Okay, so now over here, um, yeah, Lola needs to deal with the stealthy be at key. Okay, if she shoots, she's gonna be at one, two, three, four, five versus five. So we're gonna we're gonna boost this a bit. Trout is two. So if Min plays Essence of the Dream and uses Grizzly Totem and uses her Min ability. That'll add four question marks. So now she's at nine versus five. Okay, this is pretty cool. Nine minus three. Oh, we only six. Su we succeed by one, right? Because I upgraded the Derringer. So that's exactly enough to deal um, two damage, but it doesn't give us an extra action. That is okay. All right, so that test succeeded. So um, the performing investigator draws a card. All right, that's cool. Okay, Daring would have been nice too. Okay, so that was her first action, so we're actually in pretty good shape. Okay. Now what? I could get the haste down now, but I won't be able to use it this turn. I could get track shoes down, or I could just start investigating. Hmm. Options, options. I think I'll get the haste down and investigate once, so that way the haste is ready to go for later. Seems fine. So I think I'll do second action investigate. Second action, play haste. I'm worried about the uh, elder things making us lose resources. Can't lose resources if we don't have any. So second action, I'll get the haste down. Now I'll swap to survivor just to protect us from some horror. And third action, I'll investigate at four versus two. Uh, success, so I get a clue. Okay, so we're in pretty good shape right now. I think we're going to advance next turn. Yep, that's what we'll do. 
Okay, uh, that is all our actions. So let's go back to upkeep here. Okay, we dealt with that nasty bee key. Ooh, lost soul. Okay, so let's remember that. So we're going to be testing willpower against our intellect. So we're a three on three right now. And what's what are the consequences? Two damage. Okay, I don't have any... I can't boost my willpower. And, and she could use unexpected courage. Yeah, we'll throw in the unexpected courage to boost Lola's willpower. Uh, that's a minus two. Is that correct? It is. Okay, so glad we did that. Okay, so that's dealt with. Over here, we've got an inquiring mind. All right, that's handy. Okay, for our test that we're due to make here. Refresh everything, and now we go to a new turn. We're going to have three doom out of out of six, but kind of three doom out of three here. So this is not going to advance until the end of the round. So as soon as we can, we'll, um, we'll advance. The Pale Mask beckons. All right, so we're going to search out the Man in the Pallid Mask and... Okay, and just spawn it. Seems fine. Okay, so that gets him out of the deck. So that seems fine. Yep. Okay, so the farthest location from us, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, so we have, we have options of you know, how far away we want him to be. Um, let's put him at maybe over here. It's on the rail, it's on the rail line. So we'll just put him right here. That seems fine. Okay, and over here, we've got a hunting shadow. You must either spend a clue or take two damage. All right, I feel like we have some extra clues, so I don't mind spending one. We're in, a, we're in good shape to get more. All right, so now we're going to start our turns. So first things first, let's advance. We'll let Lola spend um, three and then can spend one. All right, so we'll advance. Okay, what do we have here? True evil. Okay, we spent clues. So what do we get? The organ you heard earlier continues to haunt you. No matter where you are, the torturous chords play over and over in your head. The sensation that you are being watched tugs at your mind. Okay, so we're going to spawn the organist and head over to Act 2, Stalked by Shadows. Okay, we're all set up for Act 2. Mainly, we have spawned the organist. Hopeless, I defied him. The point from which it would strike was his infernal eyes. Okay, so the organist, he deals a lot of horror. He's got Hunter, and he can't be damaged. And we also have Forced, after the organist moves from the Hunter keyword, if it is still unengaged, resolve its Hunter keyword again. However, the organist cannot attack if he double hunts. Okay, so what's going to happen here is that we've spawned the organist three locations away, and he's going to come after us. And if he does uh, manage to corner us, he's going to deal a lot of horror. So what do we need to do now? Act 2, Stalked by Shadows. I knew that every time I met him brought him nearer to the accomplishment of his purpose and my fate, and still I tried to save myself. Okay, so as a non-action, we can spend um, two clues to either place a doom on the current agenda, which is actually good for us because that'll let us, um, you know, that'll that'll kind of push along the agenda, or we can automatically evade the organist, which sounds a bit closer to uh, what I'm going to want to do. We can only do that once per round. Okay, so we can't place doom multiple times or evade and place doom. Our objective is to survive three nights. Okay, and so my understanding is that we're going to survive three nights by getting through these three agendas here. So this, so uh, the conviction path for Phantom of Truth, I find it really interesting. It's one of my favorite scenarios because it flips upside down what Doom means. Here, Doom is actually good for us because that represents us marching closer towards our salvation at the, I guess, um, after the third night is over. Okay, so we have, so we need to just stay away from this guy. We also need to get clues in order to provide free evades for him. So clues are kind of like our defense against this fella here, the organist. Okay, so with that in mind, we probably don't want to head up to Notre Dame. We probably want to um, maybe get this clue from Montparnasse uh, Mont and start moving maybe to this side of the map with, um, the op with Opera Garnier. Okay, so let's do that. So who's best at this? It's only Shroud 2. Lola's at a 4. Min is at, I guess, more than 4. So let's start with Min then. Okay, start of her turn. She's going to get Essence of the Dream into hand. Yeah, another possibility, though, is if I had Min move twice, she might be able to discover two clues at Opera Garnier. Okay, so let's have Lola go first then. So that will, won't be there yet. Yeah, let's have Lola do it. So she's going to start off at 4 versus... 
two. That feels pretty good. Plus, we can get three moves if we move along with haste here. Okay, here we go. Four versus two. That's a success. We get this clue. All right. Okay, that was action one. We don't want to go this way because we want to stay away from this guy. Oh, I guess if we end up over at Opera Garnier, he's still going to be able to hunt us. So, um, yeah, we're going to be pretty trapped here pretty quickly. Yeah, if we end up at um, at Gerdose, he'll hunt us over to here. Okay, so we're going to be a little careful. He'll hunt us over to here. I guess we can park ourselves here at Gerdose, so that way he's not on top of us. That seems fine. Uh, another possibility is Lola could move three times and maybe scout out the next location for us to go investigate at. He'll move twice, engage Lola. He's a three to evade. Yeah, she's got daring. I think she can evade him once without any trouble. All right. So if that's the case, let's uh, let's start moving. So first action, we investigated. Second, move. And third, we'll move. Okay, so now we get to check out Opera Garnier. The Palais Garnier is an ornate architectural masterpiece and one of the most famous opera houses in the world. Strangely, you find the main doors thrown wide open and a dark mist creeps out from the doorway. Oh, that's pretty scary. Okay, it's Shroud 5 with two clues. However, it says here, while you are investigating Opera Garnier, double the number of skill icons on cards committed to this skill test. Okay, so that might be useful if that might mean that we could, this Sharp Vision could give us six intellect to boost our skill checks um, with investigating here. That That's pretty good. A trail of blood leads up the grand staircase. Deep, cold mist envelops the room. You get the unmistakable feeling that there is something inhuman in the opera house. All right, so we've made two moves, and we can use haste to uh, we can use haste to take a third move. I think I will to check out the um, Grand Quig uh, Grand Guignol. Le Theatre du Grand Guignol spons specializes in horror shows of a graphic and sometimes amoral nature. It is among the smallest venues in Paris and one of the most popular. Okay, what do we got here? Ooh, this is worth a victory point. It is Shroud 5 and 2 clues. That's kind of nasty. And as an action, you can spend five, res five resources to either place a Doom on the current agenda or remove a Doom from the current agenda. It seems the theater is performing a show about insanity. You wonder if they have ever performed The King in Yellow. Haha, <laughs> funny. Okay, so we're up here. So we can scoot the agenda along by spending five resources here or by making a difficulty six willpower test here. Either way, Lola's turn is done. Okay, so I think Min, she, we're probably going to need her to grab those two clues up there. Okay, I don't want to end up at Notre Dame because then he'll be a four to evade, and I'd rather not do that. So I think we're going to have Min follow Lola. Is there anything important that she needs to play, though? Um, not at one resource there isn't. So she'll grab this Essence of the Dream. Okay, and now we'll have Min, I guess, move twice... I could investigate here because then we can get a card with Grizzly Totem. Yeah, that seems fine. Yeah, just just for the card. Okay, that seems good enough. So right now we're at five versus five. If I if I contribute this Essence of the Dream, that'll put us to that'll give us plus eight to this skill test. So five plus eight is thirteen. We'll use the Grizzly Totem to go to fourteen. Okay, success. We get a clue and a card. That's why I did this. Okay. Two actions worth of effort for the price of one. Okay. So that's going to be Min and Lola. So now we're going to have the enemy phase where the organist is going to hunt to here and then he's going to hunt again. Let's see. He doesn't have any prey instructions, so we get to decide where he goes. Let's have him um, jump on Lola here. Okay, there he is. Yep, he's not massive. Okay, so we can attack, but it just means we're going to have to um, evade him next turn. All right, let's go to upkeep. Do I want to stay a survivor? Yeah, I think so. Okay, we've got an easy mark. Okay. And we've got a crack the case. Oh, that'll be handy if um, Min can finish off, grab this clue. Five resources, it's quite a bit. Okay, so that's the end of that turn. So now we're just trying to survive. So we've got a four D minus six. And we're just gonna draw our encounter cards and uh, and hope we hope we manage. Okay, so we have a revelation test willpower at four in this case because the man in the pallet mask is in play. 
So we're probably taking two horror. Yeah. Okay, so we're testing at three versus four. Uh, that's a minus two, so we take two horror, and it's direct. Okay. So that's that. Over here, we have, ooh, a praying via key. All right. Well, it's engaged with an investigator with remaining sanity for if you're a swap praying via keys, fight and evade values. Okay, so this is problematic. Lola needs to shoot this thing. It shouldn't be too hard to shoot. So I think what we'll do is, well, if Lola go first, I really want to shoot this thing. So I can either evade this guy, move and shoot, or we can spend our two clues to automatically evade him. Let's go for the evasion. We're in good shape for it. Yeah, that seems pretty good. All right. So let's go for the evasion. Um, right now we're at three versus three. If I put in this daring, we go to six versus three. And I like my odds there. Okay, so we succeed. So we draw a card off of daring. Okay, oh, that's nice to see. And our organist is evaded. Okay, so we need Lola. That was our first action. So we need Lola to come down and take care of this Bia key. So let's do that. So second action will move down. Okay. And third action will shoot the Bia key. So we've got to swap to Rogue to do this. And we'll fire at it. So right now we are at five versus two on this test. So that's pretty good. Uh, do I want to boost it anymore? Hmm. If I boost it and succeed by a lot, then Lola can get an extra action. What would I do with that action? Not all that much. Maybe investigate with the aid of Inquiring Mind? Seems like a good way to save some actions. Yeah, I could just do that. Uh, another possibility is, so I, so I went Evade, Move, Fight. Okay, so I'm not going to be triggering Haste because I'd have to attack again in order to trigger Haste. Or evade move activate i'd have to activate something else also probably not happening i guess if we got another action i could just play some easy marks it's probably worth it all right so let's do it min we'll put in the inquiring mind and who could use who could use more cards yeah we'll use the grizzly totem on this one so lola's gonna be at three four five six seven eight nine versus two that seems pretty good Okay, zero, so we succeed by a whole bunch. So we're gonna defeat this guy and we get another action. And as I mentioned, I'll use this action to play an easy mark for, oh, I was supposed to draw a card off of a Grizzly Totem. Okay, so now we'll use an easy mark to get two resources and a card, followed by another one to get two more resources. Oops, two more resources and a card. Oh, Crisis of Identity. So we're gonna take two more horror here. Okay, that could be a problem. And then we become a rogue again. Okay, that's not too bad. So that was, yep, that was our whole turn. Okay, so we're hurting horror-wise. We need to get like Peter Sylvester or something out of there. Oh, we've got the Hallowed Mirror. That should help. Okay, so over to Min. Let's see, do I want to go up there and get those, get those clues? That actually seems pretty good. So we start off by grabbing the Essence of the Dream. Let's see, that's Shroud 5. Okay, I think I've got a plan here. Yeah, this one's probably more important. So I'll go up there, grab the clues, move back. Okay, that seems good. All right, first action, we'll move up to the Grand Guignol. We'll second action investigate. Okay, so right now we're at five versus five. If I put in this sharp vision, we go to six, seven, eight versus five. Trick or men to go to nine versus five. Uh, let's go 10, 11, 12, 13 versus 5. We, we really want this. 13 minus X, where X is currently 4. So 9 versus 5, sweet. We succeed by at least 2. So we grab both clues. So that was our second action, and that'll give us a victory point. Okay, third action. Oh, and I'll play Crack the Case for another 5 resources. 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's pretty good. So third action, I could either spend five resources here or I can move out and not have to deal with him for until next turn. That seems pretty good. Well, I guess already I don't have to deal with him till next turn. Yeah, I kind of like the spending five resources plan to like avoid us. Yeah, to like push us along. I'll do that. One, two, three, four, five. We'll put a doom on the agenda. So we're at five out of six. Okay, that means we're in the witching hour and we're about to advance to um, about to finish up the first night. So that was actually all three of our actions. Okay, seems okay. So enemy phase, nothing, we have no active hunters. So this will heal ready and go here. 
and then we'll get cards and resources. Last chance to change roles, I'll change the guardian. Okay, upkeep. Another daring, very good to see. Okay, and over here, uh, logical reasoning. Oh, that could help Lola out. Get a resource. Okay, new turn. We are going to go to six doom out of six, and let's see what happens. Daybreak, oh, that sounds like a good sign. Birds start to chirp eagerly. An orange tint slowly spreads across the sky as the creatures of the night shrink back into the darkness. You spend most of the day resting, and the daylight passes quickly with very little to show for it. Before you are able to fully recover from the previous night's events, it is evening once more. Okay, so each investigator disengages from each enemy engaged with him and may move to a connecting location. Move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator to a location with no investigators if possible. Okay, so we're going to disengage from the organist. Okay, and we get to move to a connecting location. Let's see, do I want to go here? Not really. Let's um let's head this way. So Min gets to move to uh, Montmartre. You've heard this district to be vibrant and friendly, but the streets feel unusually lonely to you. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, two shroud, two clues. Okay, that's not bad. And as an action, you could spend a resource to add a supply or ammo token to a card you control. Okay, that'd be good for Lola, actually. Cold rain pelts the street. Every alleyway you pass is another hiding place for something sinister. All right, so that's Min's free move, and that's a high shroud clue, so I think I'll have Lola move there as well. Okay, so now the organist moves one location away. He can't do that. He can only do a lateral move, so I'll just, I guess I'll just do that. All right, so now we move to Agenda 2, the second night. The city stirs as cold shadows embrace the streets. There is danger all around you, danger that you cannot escape, danger that will follow you to the ends of the earth. When will this waking nightmare end? Okay, so just like before, um, Doom on cards subtract from the total Doom instead of adding to it. So if we just need to push this along and survive um, to get to 5 Doom and survive another night of being chased by the organist. Okay, so that was the... Um, that was adding Doom. So now we get to go to encounter cards. Okay, what do we got here? Twisted to his will. Okay, there is no Doom in play at the moment, so this will get Surge. Okay. Deadly Fate. Test willpower. If you fail... Discard cards from the top of the encounter deck until an enemy is discarded. You must either draw that enemy or that enemy attacks you. Okay, so I kind of want to succeed at this. Hmm. Willpower? Yeah, because if I get attacked some more, I'm going to be hurting a little bit. Okay, so in that case, I'll just put in this Unexpected Courage, and now we'll be at 5 versus 3. That actually, it seems pretty good. Ooh, minus 4. Okay, that's a total failure, so we're going to discard cards on the top of the encounter deck until we get an enemy. Okay. What do we get? A swift be a key. So either we can spawn it or it attacks us. I'll just take the attack. Um, it's If it was too horror, I'd feel a little bit worse about that, but we're still kind of hurting when it comes to horror. It's probably better than, than it spawning and we have to do three damage to it though. Okay, over here, we've got torturous cords. Test willpower at five. If you fail, put torturous cords into play with one resource on it for each point you failed by. Each time you play a card, increase the cost. Okay, so for each point you fail by, you're going to have to spend resources slowly paying for things. That's actually not too bad, so I think I'll just take it on the chin. We're going to be at four versus five here. Oh, dear. Oh, that, that was a bad move. So that's minus two, and we fail by three. So we put this into our threat area, and the next three cards we play are going to cost more. Okay, not those. Those are ammo tokens, so... And because we drew an Elder thing, we have to lose all three of our resources. Okay, so Min's hurting right now, and she's unable to play her Logical Reasoning, which could be problematic. Yuck. Oh well. That's, that's the way the cookie crumbles. Okay, so now it's our turn. All right, we've got this guy coming for us, but I think I'll auto-evade him before he jumps on us. Um, another possibility is we could grab these two clues and then leave. No, I think I'll auto-evade him. If we stay here... Lola can you know, get an extra, re um, spend one of her resources to grab supplier ammo token. That actually seems pretty good. Uh, another possibility is she can spend, she can do three play actions. First one going Hallowed Mirror, second one being uh, play a Soothing Melody, third one play a Track Shoes. And then fourth action, I can either grab an ammo or move. I actually like that plan even better. Okay, so that takes care of Lola. Yeah, we'll have Lola go first then. First action, let's play the Hallowed Mirror. OK, 
Okay, so now that Min isn't going to be able to afford to play logical reasoning this turn, then this grabbing these soothing melodies gets a bit more important. So first action, play Hallowed Mirror. Second action, play Soothing Melody to heal two horror and draw a card. Ooh, another one. Okay, so now we get to take another action um, with Haste. This time I'll swap to Survivor and as my third play action, we'll grab these track shoes. Okay, so now we're good to go. And we've got you know more horror left. So I guess with our last action, this guy's gonna jump on us if we don't move away. So let's move. Okay, let's go to Lemare. This historic district has recently become less aristocratic, but the old architectural masterwork remains. Okay, so we head over here, and what does it tell us? After you enter Lemare for the remainder of the round, you cannot leave Lemare. All right, so no, uh, no track shoes for us. Throughout this region, you cannot shake the feeling that you are being watched. Something along the rooftops ducks just out of sight each time you peer upward. Must be those darn beakies. Okay, so that's two clues. Only one shroud, too, so that's pretty nice. All right, so that's going to be all of Lola's turn. Yep, three plays and a move. Okay, so over to Min. Let's see. I wanted to deal with the man the pallid mask. Maybe later. Let's see. I don't have a good way. I could just grab both clues and leave. That seems like actually a decent plan. So we grab this Essence of the Dream. Okay, so we'll do that. First action, I'll investigate at five versus two. Success, grab the clue. Okay. Second action, I'll do it again. This time I'll put in Essence of the Dream and Grizzly Totem. So that way we can get a card out of this if we succeed. So we're at five, six, seven, eight versus two. Uh, success, we get a card from Grizzly Totem. Okay, and we got this clue. Oh, wing it, that's nice to see. And third action, let's head over to Lemurray. Okay, so we're we're both stuck here. All right, so that is all our actions. Yep, this only counts for playing a card, such as playing, like, Wigging It. All right, so the organist mo hunts and then hunts again, and we'll have it jump. We'll have him jump on Lola. All right, now we'll go to upkeep. Okay, we've already swapped rolls this turn, so we'll grab. We get a safeguard. Oh, that's handy. So now she can hang out with men as they run around the uh as they run around paris and then over here we've got the king in yellow okay so we'll lose our magnifying glass yeah i think so because of this it's going to cost it's going to take us quite a bit to be able to afford to play the second dream di diary so i think i need to lose the magnifying glass all right how we clear the king in yellow i'm not sure yet but we'll think of something Okay, so that was the end of that turn. We now go to, we shouldn't have six doom. We should have zero doom. Now we go to one doom out of five and we've got figure in the shadows. Okay, we have more conviction than doubt. So we resolve the organist hunter keyword. Okay, so I imagine that just means he would move and attack. But he's already engaged, so I guess he just attacks for three horror. Oh, yikes. Uh, yeah, there's, there's nothing I can do to cancel that, so one, two, three. Oof. Okay. Yep, we have more conviction than doubts. Okay. Yikes. All right, what do we got here? Deadly fate. Uh-oh. Test willpower, and if we fail, we have to get attacked by an enemy. That's not too bad. I mean, if, since she has no damage on her or and no horror. All right, so we'll test it four versus three. That's not too bad. Oh, another one of these. So we're just going to lose this. We're going to lose our one resource again. And we have to get attacked. All right, Min is uh, just losing all her resources. Okay, so what do we get attacked by? Looking for an enemy. Discarding cards until we get a stealthy Beaky. So two damage and a horror. Uh, yeah, we can take that. Let's take the two damage. We'll let the horror go on the lab assistant. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so we've got this guy. Lola is on her last legs, not looking so good. And men can't afford to play Logical Reasoning. So not much to do, but um, I guess we can auto-evade him since Lola's only at four versus three. Let's see. Yeah, four versus three isn't too bad. I've got Daring, that'll help. Uh, but if we, fit, if we draw a tentacle, she goes insane. So let's not do that. All right, so I'll have Min spend two clues as a free action to automatically evade the organist. Okay, so that that should free us up. So I think with Lola, we're gonna I think what we're gonna do is play soothing melody and safeguard, so that way she can um, she can follow Min around. All right, that that seems pretty good. 
Okay, so to do that, let's swap to Guardian. First action, I'll go ahead and play Soothing Melody. Whoops, to, to heal to horror and draw a card. Oh, that's good to see. Second action, I'll play Safeguard. Okay, so now we're all set. That's two actions. So third action, I could take another play action, but there's nothing I really want to play. Yeah, that's yeah. I can't really play anything. I can't really play the Act of Desperation because this guy can't be damaged. All right, so that was our second action. All right, we've got the safeguards, so we can follow Min out of here. So I think third action, I'll just help out by investigating. At four versus one. That seems pretty good. Let's do that. Uh, minus two, that's a success, so we get a clue. Okay, and that was all our actions. Okay, over to Min. Um, so she wants to maybe move out of here and drag Lola along. Okay, so let's do that. And we can look for ways to deal with the king in yellow. Probably not here. So first action, we'll just investigate it four versus one. That seems fine. A success, I get this clue. Okay, that's good. So now we, we've got quite a bit of we've got a, quite a bit of clues to uh, deal with this guy. Uh, one thing I could do is I could try to clear the king in yellow here at Notre Dame to uh, add a doom to the current agenda. Let's see, could I pull, oh, I get this. So I could actually pull that off with, I, if I put in the stream diary, this logical reasoning and essence of the dream. That seems pretty good. Although I am saving this logical reasoning to be able to heal Lola. I could put in the unexpected courage. All right, that's actually seems like a decent plan. So first action, we investigate. Second action, we'll move here. Uh, Lola comes along. Okay. Do we want Lola to use track shoes? Nah, probably not. Let's stick with Min. All right, and then third action, let's test willpower at six. Okay, so right now we're at four versus six. If I put in this, that's four question marks. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep, and that's three. That's at least three cards and six icons. So that's nine right there. All right, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Let's go twelve. Twelve versus six, sure. Okay, that's going to be a minus one. So we successfully uh, test willpower at six, so we get to add a doom to the agenda. Okay, and that goes away, that goes away, that goes away, and I clear the king in yellow, and I draw a card with Grizzly Totem. Okay, that's pretty good. So that's actually our third action. We've covered everything. Enemy phase, we have no active hunters, so this guy will just refresh himself. And now we'll go to upkeep. Okay, I think we're starting to get things under control. This, we really need an ally, because this could be a problem. Or some other soak. Unexpected courage is not what we're looking for. Okay, and over here, we've got a shortcut and a resource. We can't afford to play the shortcut just yet, though. All right, new turn. We are at three out of five, more than halfway to surviving the second night. And let's see what we get. Ooh, deadly fate again. Okay, so testing willpower. We're at three versus three right now. I kind of want to succeed at this, so we'll go to five versus three. And I'll trigger Min's ability to go to six versus three. Minus one. Okay, so we don't get attacked by another enemy. Okay, and over here. Ooh. Spires of our Carcosa. So this is actually going to subtract from our. Yep, we're gonna. This is going to subtract from our our doom threshold, unless we manage to clear it. Okay, so right now we're effectively at one doom out of five. So this being around is actually going to you know, make us have to survive two more turns. So what are we going to do about that? I think I guess we can just maybe men can try to investigate it. It is shroud. F oh, it's shroud three. Oh, whoops. I uh, I thought it was Shroud 5 for some reason. I think we still clear the King in Yellow. It just means that Min would have had to use her ability um, in order to boost us up to the sixth icon. So I think we're okay. All right. Well, let's let's try to uh, let's try to clear this. Clear some spires. Who's good at it? Min would put. She can probably do one of them without much trouble. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight versus three. Yeah, no problem there. It's the others. It's the second one that's going to be difficult. All right, so I think what I'll do here is I'll take a resource as the first action. So that way we can afford a lucky if we're, like, super close. All right, second, uh, second action, I'll investigate. And we'll go... We'll do all that to be four, five, six, seven, eight versus three. 
Eight minus three is five, so we are successful. We get a card from Grizzly Totem, okay, and we remove a Doom from Spires of Carcosa. Now I think we want to stay away from this guy. So let's go to... We can go to either one. Um, we could discard a card to gain some icons. I'd rather not. All right, so let's uh, head over here as our third action, and Lola will follow. Okay, she has just moved. So do we want to track shoes? Not really. I don't think Lola has anywhere important to go. I think all the all we, the only other places we need to go are up here, um, up to the northeast. And I guess we're going to wait for this guy to come after us before we head up there. All right, so I think we'll be okay. So no need to track shoes, I think. Okay, so that was Min's turn. Yeah, we went... Oh, what did I do with my first action? I investigated. I moved. Oh, I guess I still do have a third action. Oh, I took a resource, investigated, and moved. Okay. So we're good now. Can play shortcut to move again. I'll save shortcut for when we get up here. Okay, over to Lola. Um, I think I'm going to have Lola just build up. Not sure why I have no resources, though. Must have... Uh... Did I forget to take one? I might have. Hmm. I didn't spend a resource in the Mythos phase, did I? I don't think I did. I don't think I failed skill test. No, I didn't. Okay, so I'll, I guess I assume I had a resource and I forgot to take it. Okay, so Lola, let's um, let's take three resources using haste. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then last action, I'm probably going to play the crystal and other sign. Although we do have another, we have another copy of Hell of Mirror in there, but it's, it's, let's see. We've already used two of our Soothing Melodies. There's one more copy of, of uh, Soothing Melody in 27 cards. So that's not all that likely. All right, that we're going to draw it, draw it soon. So third, so um, third action, I'll play a Crystal and Elder Sign and remove my Soothing Melodies from the game. Okay. It's the last one. Yeah, it was like so far down there. Okay. Okay, so, yep, that's all our actions. That doesn't seem too bad. Okay, so now we're going to go to enemy phase. This guy's going to hunt and then hunt again. This time let's have him go after Min in case we draw a treachery that causes him to attack. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, now we'll go to upkeep where we get a card and resource. Oh, nice, an ally. Okay, and over here, card and resource. Okay, that's always good to see. All right, so now we um, new turn. We're at four, three doom because of Spires of Carcosa out of five. Okay, let's see what we get. Okay, the sign of the Yellow King. We attach it to the current agenda or current acts. Each time an additional takes, each time an investigator takes one or more horror, he or she takes an additional horror. Okay, so this is pretty bad for Lola right now. That means she's kind of on thin ice right now until we get. Um, at least until we get Tetsuo down over here. Oh, we have an enemy. Okay, so let's spend two clues to automatically evade this guy for sure. Okay, so now we've got to deal with this Biaki. And I guess leave. Maybe we can try to deal with Spires of Carcosa. Okay, he's only a three to evade and a five to fight. So let's see. Oh, I need to uh, seal the plus one. Okay. Okay, so Lola's five to evade this guy, but it's engaged with men. Let's see, does it hunt? It does. So it'll come after us eventually. Okay, so I guess if we evade it, how would we evade it? Rob two. We could try to evade it. Yeah, Lola can pitch in the Daring to help. All right, that seems good. So we'll have Min go first. Grab this Essence the Dream. Min will try to evade. She's at four. She's at two versus three. If Lola puts in this Daring, that puts her at five versus three. And then Min triggers her um, her own ability to, put, to be at six versus three. That seems pretty good, especially since we have Lucky. All right, so we're going to be at six versus three on this. Uh, Skull, there is four five doom oh subtract from the total doom in play so there is three doom in play meaning that 
what we're at. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Six minus three is three. That so we hit we evaded on the nose. Okay, and draw a card for, from Daring. Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, I should have played the uh, Eureka. Okay, second action we'll move over here. Okay, to Notre Dame again, and then third action let's. Oh, Lola follows, of course. Third action, let's take care of the spires of Carcosa. Well, on the other hand, there's a reason for Lola to not follow because then she, because while this thing is exhausted, it's only a two to fight. So maybe, yeah, we'll have Lola stay behind and shoot it. That seems pretty good. All right, so Min, let's go for the spires of Carcosa. It is Shroud three. We're at a four. Okay, so we'll go to four, five, six, seven. Eight versus three. That seems pretty good. Uh, minus three is a success, so I'll trigger Eureka. Uh, don't get that. Let's get our magnifying glass back. That seems pretty good. And then draw a card from Grizzly Totem. Oh, Expeditious Retreat. Okay, non-action, I'll do that. Okay. And, oh, the Doom gets removed. And Spires of Carcosa goes away. So that went well. Okay, so first action we evaded, second action we moved, third action we um, took care of that. Okay. Oh, we got a pl we played something, so that had to cost us a resource because it cost us one instead of zero. But that's fine. We uh, we're gonna eventually we're gonna drop that down. Okay, so over to Lola, we're gonna try to take out this Bia key. All right, so I'll swap to Rogue. First action, I'll shoot it with the Derringer. I'm at five six versus two, so that's pretty good. Minus one. Okay, six versus two. That goes to five versus two. So we succeed by three, which means we get our action back. And he's dealt with. Okay, so that's good. Okay, so first action, we activate slash fought. Um, do I want to do another activate slash fight? Not really. So let's um, second action move. I think I will use track shoes this time. So we're going to test it five versus three to try to move another another space. Success. So we move up here. And now we can't leave Lemare. So that was our second action. Well, second out of four actions. So we still have two actions left. Let's I can't get the soak on the board because I just swapped a rogue. So I think I'm just gonna draw. There's no clues to get. So let's draw as our third of four actions. Oh, I could take three draws just by uh spending two actions on it. I like this plan. Although I could end up hitting like a chronophobia or crisis of identity, that would actually be really bad. Yeah, if I hit a chrono, if I hit a chronophobia, that could be problematic considering we're kind of low on our our sanity. So I think instead I'll just gain three resources by spending two actions and our haste. So one, two, three. Yeah, we're just gonna play it safe because I think we're doing okay right now. All right, so that's all our actions actually. We have no active hunters, so the organist is going to refresh itself, and now we'll um, draw some cards and gain some resources. Ooh, there's Chronophobia. Ha! Maybe it was it was good that I didn't... It was good that I uh, didn't draw three cards then. Okay. Fortunately, we drew it, and we have a whole... T we have plenty of time to discard it before it hurts us. And then over here, card resource. Okay, that's always nice to see. Okay, maybe there's an opportunity to grab that, to grab that last clue and gain three resources out of it. Seems pretty good. Well, net two because of torturous cords, but you know, you get my drift. All right, new turn. We are at five doom. Okay, we didn't take any horror, did we? No, we didn't. Right. Another reason why I'm really glad I didn't draw this chronophobia, because we would have taken two horror. All right, so we're going to advance since we got rid of Spires Garcosa. So what do we get? We have a red sun rises. To your relief, the sun once again begins to rise, peaking just over the eastern horizon and casting long shadows across the city streets. You are completely exhausted from the night's events. It feels as though you haven't slept in weeks. Perhaps you haven't. Okay, so um, we get to move to a connecting location, and we can move the organist one location away from the nearest investigator. And then Jordan Perry is going to spawn in, Ma in uh, Montparnasse. So, yikes. So we get to move a location away, and let's do that. Okay, sadly it means Min's not going to be able to leave Lemare, which is probably okay. Uh, Lola will stay here, so that way um, if Min draws a bad guy, Lola can help out. We then move the organist one space away, 
Yeah, because that's actually farther away. And then Jordan Perry. Uh, now we've got him to deal with um, over here at Montparnasse. Okay, so now we go to the third night. On the evening of your third night in Paris, a desperate resolve stirs within you. This cat and mouse game cannot go on any longer. One way or another, this night will end it. Okay, so once again, we have five doom. We just need to survive one more night, and we're going to be all right. Okay, so let's get encounter cards, and let's see what kind of doom is coming to us. Hunted by Biaki. Okay, so if we fail this test, we may draw Biaki. And if we draw an omen, we take a horror. All right, so we are at five versus six on this. Um, we're at the same location as Min, so I think we can have Min boost it. Not sure with what though. I don't want. I'm gonna save the expeditious retreat for an actual evasion test. So I think we're just gonna have to take it. Five versus six. All right, hope it. Hope it's not too bad. Okay, so that's two versus six. So we're gonna discard the top four cards in the encounter deck. Okay, and, and hopefully we won't draw an omen. This taking a horror would be kind of bad right now. All right, so let's see if we get a Biaki or an omen or both. There's a pact, a pact, a terror, and an omen. Okay, so we just take a horror, which is, I guess, not too bad. Uh, it means that, oh, fortunately, men can play logical reasoning. So we're going to be okay, I think. What do we got? Twin Sons. Okay, so now we test intellect at four. If you fail, you must either remove a doom from the current agenda or take a horror for each point you failed by. The implication spoils what would otherwise be a lovely sunset. <laughs> Twin suns. Okay, so we are currently at four versus four in this. Don't have any really good way of boosting it, so we'll just take it on the chin. Oh, yeah, right, it's not an investigation. So here we go. Minus three, yuck. Okay, so we failed by three, so I can take three horror. Or remove a doom from the current agenda. Well, we can't remove a doom from the current agenda, so we're taking three horror. Okay, hopefully we'll be fine. All right, so that kind of beat us up a little bit. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we can't... Um, yeah, men can't move away from Lemuray, so we're just going to have to hang out and, you know, heal ourselves and build up a bit. So let's do that. First things first, I think we're going to have Min play this logical reasoning to heal six sanity. Yeah, that seems really good. So we heal four sanity off of Lola and two off of Min. Okay, that's pretty solid. Okay, that cost us three as a torturous cords. Okay, that was Min's first action. She can't leave, so I guess we can just maybe take resources. Well, I can draw cards because I want winging it in the bin. That seems good. Okay, so second action, we'll draw. Uh, sharp vision. Okay, that'll be handy. Third action, we'll draw again. Extensive research. Well, with our giant hand, that will actually will be quite handy. Nothing in here either. How many do we have left? See the wall behind you? <laughs> Love it. Okay, so that is all of our actions for men. Right? Like I said, she can't leave, so... Just gonna have to work with that. Okay, so what's gonna happen is it looks like the organist is gonna end up at Notre Dame, and Jordan Perry is gonna end up also at Notre Dame. So we're gonna be okay. All right, Lola. Let's spend two actions dealing with chronophobia. Okay. Then let's swap to Guardian and play Tetsuo Mori. Okay. So that that feels pretty good. All right. So that's all our actions, and like I said. The organist is going to hunt us over to Notre Dame, and the Jordan Perry is going to follow. Okay, so we have them bearing down on us. We're probably going to leave Lemaray next turn. We'll be okay. All right, so that is everything. So now we'll go to Upkeep, in which we get a quick thinking. All right, that's cool. We've got two of them now. Okay, and over here, we've got the price of failure. Uh-oh. Take two damage and two horror. Place a doom on the current agenda, which is actually a good thing. And then uh, we swap this for Dark Pact and put it in the discard pile. Okay, so it was two damage and two horror. So that's one and one right here. And then here's the other one and one. And now we finally paid the price, and now we have we have another opportunity to make amends with you know, whoever we made the Dark Pact with. Okay. And we added Doom to the agenda, which is kind of a good thing. Yeah, 
kind of is. Place to do them on the current agenda. Okay. So that's all. The, uh, all right. So that's that. That is upkeep. All right. So now we're going to go to a new turn. Two team out of five. Okay. We're getting there. And let's get encounter cards. Hunting Shadow, spend a clue or take two damage. I am willing to spend a clue because I think we're we're doing okay. Yeah, we've got four clues. We can auto evade the organist just fine. Over here, torture another torturous chords. Uh oh. So we're at four versus five. And if we fail this, we're just like never gonna be able to afford to play anything ever again. Yuck. Um Oh, was I supposed to have that in hand? I think I was. was. I forgot about that. But let's go without it. Okay, so we'll have Lola put in the Eureka to help. It's only when you commit a card. Min will trigger herself, her own ability on Lola's Eureka. So now we're at four, five, six versus five. Okay, so now we have like a chance of passing it. Okay, let's uh let's hope for the best. <sighs> six versus five, so we're just gonna lose all our resources. Alright, we fail by one. Which causes that to get a to uh, get a resource, and yeah, we lost our last resource. So the next card we play costs us two additional. So we're not gonna be able to afford to play very much. Okay, that's too bad. All right, that's everything. So now let's get started. Um, we don't want this guy hunting us, so we'll spend two clues, I think, or we can. Yeah, let's spend. Do I want to auto evade him or do I want to just leave and let him hunt us and then we can auto evade him next turn? That actually seems better. All right, let's do that. So I think with men, we, I have an idea here. Let's go take three resources. Yeah, it's silly, isn't it? And then with our, with our, uh, we take three resources as all our actions. And then as a fast action, I spend all three of them and get rid of these torturous cords. Okay. To play this shortcut as a fast action. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll, Use shortcut to get out of here as um, as a free action. Oh, don't forget to take this. Okay, so let's get out of here. Let's head to the cemetery. The largest cemetery in Paris and its first garden cemetery, Père Lachaise, is as beautiful as it is haunting. Okay, so we end up here. Lola follows, thanks to safeguard. So let's exhaust that. And let's see, what do we have? Ooh, it's a victory point. That's good. Okay, and it's got four clues. Paths of stone wind through rows of graves and countless mausoleums. The dense, twisting cemetery has you trapped in a state of melancholy, surrounded by death on all sides. All right, so we have four clues to grab. And after an enemy moves here, it gets an additional horror value, right, because it's a cemetery. So we want to get these clues. And it's up to Lola to get them. So she can go for it. She's at five versus two to investigate, and we can pitch in this sharp vision. That actually seems pretty good. Let's do it then. So first action, we'll investigate. We can take four investigates total, thanks to Haste. We'll pitch in this sharp vision. So that'll give her three question marks. We'll add the uh, grizzly totem to make it four. Um, sorry, four um, intellect icons. So we're going to be at we're going to be at quite a lot. We're going to be at three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine versus two. Um, super duper success. So we get two clues thanks to sharp vision, and we get to change roles for free. Uh, let's go rogue. I uh, should have been quick thinking. Oh, well. And uh, Lola draws a card from the Grizzly Totem. Okay, that's good. That's done. All right, that was first action. We still have two more. All right, I'll just investigate a five versus two. That seems fine. I don't really have anything to play, so I don't even really need to boost this, I think. Second action, success. So we get another clue. Okay. Third action, so that's two, that's two investigates. We'll use our free haste investigate. Success, get that clue. All right, so we are all done with this location. Um, we still have an action left. I'm probably just going to draw. Yeah, that seems good. I'll take my free swap to swap to... Let's go survivor. Yeah, that way if we draw a crisis of identity, we don't feel so bad. Okay, and it means we're in a position to play actor desperation. Okay, so I'll just draw a card. My last action. Oh, nice. That is good to see. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> oh, <laughs> for some reason, I, I think I accidentally had too many Derringers in the deck. I'm sorry, folks. 
<laughs> oh, I think I was uh, testing. I was uh, futzing around with something uh, before the game, and now I have too many derringers. So let's uh, let's try this again. Okay, so last action will draw a card. Okay, we get a magnifying glass. Okay, that is correct. All right, let me remove the last derringer from the deck. I'm sorry, folks. That was a little strange. I was like, wait, where did that derringer come from? Okay. Okay, so that is all our actions. All right. Yep, on both si on both sides. So let's have the organist hunt us, and Jordan Perry, and Jordan Perry hunts us as well. Okay, so he's got us cornered. Okay. Yeah, sorry about the derringer mistake. I think I was just uh, futzing around before the uh, before the recording started, and I ended up with too many derringers. Whoops. So we'll okay. So we'll refresh and get cards and resources. Improvisation, always nice to see. And over here, okay, and finally we've got those torturous chords gone. Analytical mind, nice. And um, thanks to our lab assistant being gone, we have to discard this winging it. Okay, so that is end of the turn. New turn, breath three out of five. And let's see what we get. A be a key. Okay, this is gonna be tough considering we have no active weapon. Okay. And he's a five to evade. So this might actually a bit be a bit difficult. Over here, we've also got to be a key. Okay. So we've got um we've got two, three health enemies to deal with. It sounds like just the time for expeditious retreat. Okay, so um if Lola start if Lola goes first, then men can pitch in this essence of the dream to do something and then get it back when her turn starts. I like this plan. So I think what we'll do is we'll have Lola go first, evade. Yeah, and then Min can pitch in the Expedition Retreat so that way Lola can evade two things. I like it. All right, so we'll first action we'll have Lola evade. She's going to be at one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll pitch in the Expedition Retreat to go to six, seven, eight. Eight versus five. Oh, whoops, I probably should have boosted that with Min, but fortunately, we're fine thanks to this. Okay, so eight versus five, we succeed by two. Lucky us. So we get to evade this, and... Yeah, so we evade this praying be a key, but do I want to evade the organist, or... Yeah, we've got plenty of clues, so I'll evade this swift be a key as well. I'll spend two clues to evade the organist. So we are kind of... We're okay here. That was our first action. Let's see, I could attack. Yeah, who's the tougher one? This one's tougher. All right, let's um, let's let's finish it off with our second action. Okay, that seems okay. So, second action, I'll play after desperation, and I'll discard this derringer. So that puts us for attacking. We're going to be at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven versus two. Yeah, that seems good. Seven versus two. It's got three health, so I'll put in this vicious blow as well. So now we're at eight versus two. Eight minus four, that's uh, still that's a success. So we're gonna deal three damage to the praying be a key. Okay, and we get to gain three resources. So that was our second action. So we went evade, we went um play fight. And then I guess third action. I don't have any weapons to play. I can move along with men here. So I guess I'll uh, just draw a card. Seems fine. Oh, Tetsuo, that's good. Or when this one goes away. All right, so that is all of Lola's actions. Okay, over here, we're gonna probably leave this. Oh, so we, we get this back. First action, let's move over to Canal St. Martin. This underground canal connects the river's, sea, the river's sign to the Canal de Lourc. An old cracked staircase leads down to the canal's entrance. So Lola follows, around, follows along thanks to Safeguard. And what do we have here? Ooh, it's worth a victory point. And after you evade an enemy at Canal St. Martin, move that enemy to a connecting location. Okay, that's good. We can shove things away. I guess by shoving them into the canal. And then they exit the canal somewhere else. All right, so that was action one. Let's try to get some clues then. How much does this cost? One, two, three, four, five, six. This is costing us four right now. Yeah, it's too much. Um, so I think I'll just investigate normally. Oh, I do I have a winging it in the bin? Yeah, I'll just, I'll just investigate with winging it. That sounds good. 
All right, second action, I'll use winging it. So we're currently at four, five versus three. Okay, let's go to six, seven, eight, nine versus three by triggering men's ability. Nine minus two, okay, success. So we're gonna get both clues. And we're gonna draw a card thanks to Grizzly Totem, okay. All right, so we're in pretty good shape now. We've got tons of clues. We've got all the victory points on the board. I think we're gonna be all right. That was our second action. Uh, we've got this guy, so I think let's um let's move away from move away from the enemies here. I think is our plan. Another possibility is we can let Jordan Perry jump on us, and then next turn we can head down here. We can evade Jordan Perry, shove him over to the cemetery, and then move down. That actually seems like a plan. So last action, because I'll take a resource so I can eventually. Oh wait, I play crack the case. That's what I do for, and it was shroud three at the time. After discovers the last remaining clues, so I think it. I think I gained three resources from this. Okay, right. I remember to play crack the case. So then, last action, I'll play analytical mind. That's what I'll do. Okay, so we can draw even more cards. All right, that sounds like a pretty good turn happened. Jordan Perry is going to hunt us, or rather, we're going to have him hunt Tetsuo. Okay. Over here, these guys will refresh themselves. Okay, and now we'll go to upkeep, stay a survivor, and we'll get a dark horse with way too many resources to be able to use dark horse effectively. Over here, we'll get our lost soul. Okay, so we've got to make a willpower test. At f so four versus four on our willpower test. No clues for inquiring mind. Okay, can Lola bump, bump it? Yeah, she can. So we'll do that, and we'll trigger Min's ability on Lola's uh, improvisation. Okay, so that puts us at seven versus four. I wish I could put something into this, because then we can trigger Analytical Mind and Grizzly Totem. Okay, seven versus four. Oh, super success. So this goes back to her hand. All right, that's good. So that is dealt with. Okay, that went pretty well. All right, new turn. We are at four doom out of five, so only one more turn we have to survive for. And we get twin sons. Okay, so we're gonna take horror probably by failing this. Let's see. Right now we're at a four versus four. I'll put in take the initiative to go to five, six, seven versus four. And you know what, what the heck, let's put in quick thinking as well. So we're at eight versus four. Um, we'll trigger men's ability on the quick thinking. So we're at nine versus four. Okay, that seems pretty good. Nine minus two is seven versus four. Nice, so we succeed by at least two. So not only do we pass, but Lola gets to take an action immediately. I'll have this action be evading Jordan Perry. We're at five versus two on this. Uh, that seems good. Uh, success, we've evaded him, so we can shove him over here. Okay, so that's pretty good. And then men's encounter card is uh, the sign of the king in yellow. So we'll just put it on the agenda here. So hopefully we won't take any horror. All right, so things are, looking, things are looking up. I guess the last thing we can do, let's try to defeat the man in the pallid mask by heading over to Mon Matra. And let's have Min start. Lola can follow. Okay, so we'll grab the essence of the dream when we start our turn. First action, we'll move down here. Lola follows. Okay, second action, we'll investigate the man in the pallid mask, and that's gonna he's gonna be a shroud of four. We're currently a five. This will put us up to six, seven. Um let's go to eight with this and nine with men's ability. Trigger analytical mind. Okay, so we're at nine versus four. Ooh. Nine minus four. Okay, so we succeed and we discard the man in the pallid mask and give ourselves a uh, point of chasing the stranger. That's our second action. I guess there's not much to do with our third action, but um, move away and, whoops, move away and drag Lola along. All right, so we are in good shape. Okay, um, there's no real reason to get that clue. So I think Lola will just hang tight and we'll just take four resources. So one, two, haste, and four. Yeah, that seems good. Okay, enemy phase. I think we're going to be all right. He moves um, twice, and then 
Okay, so this preys the lowest remaining sanity. It'll ju okay, so it will engage somebody, but it won't attack them. Okay, so who's got the lowest remaining sanity? Lola's got six. Min has five. Okay, it doesn't attack her, but it does jump on her. Okay, so that was enemy phase. Now we'll go to upkeep. Okay, get a resource. And over here, Eureka. Okay, and get a resource. All right, new turn. We go to 5G amount of 5, and let's advance. Go, okay, that went pretty well. Dawn at last. The sun rises and dispels the darkness. A warm fog envelops the city, blotting out the sky. We have more conviction than doubt, so we advance to Act 2B. Okay, so that actually went pretty smoothly. I think largely because we got enough clues. We got clues quickly enough to be able to keep this guy from uh, jumping on us and attacking us. There were some uh, pretty dicey moments, like when Lola drew that treachery that had her get hit for three horror. But other than that, I think we were largely fine. We were able to deal with whatever Bia keys came up, and we were able to get enough clues to uh, keep this guy locked down. So um, we did pretty well, I say. So we're going to advance to Act 2 Act two B, not um, Resolution 2B. Act 2B. Shepherd's Crook. You lose track of yourself within the city as you flee for your life. Your feet move of their own accord. The beating of sinewy wings and screeching of creatures above you spurs you onward. Soon you find yourself running down a narrow avenue, passing a set of heavy iron gates. You are in a dead end, a court with tall old houses on either side. Oh, this is the um, this is the court of the dragon from um, yeah from the story the uh, from the story in the court of the dragon as a part of the king in yellow. You are in a dead end, a court with tall old houses on either side. You turn back toward the entrance and breathe a sigh of relief as you see the sun rising once more over the skyline of Paris. As though dispersed by the sunlight, the figure that had been chasing you folds into the shadows and vanishes. Just as you are about to leave, you spot a plaque next to a red-brown door atop a steep, narrow staircase. It reads, N. Engram. All right, we did it. So we did not intrude on a secret meeting, so we go to Resolution 1. Okay. Resolution 1. You can only assume that this house belongs to Nigel Engram, the director of The King in Yellow. At last, you have finally found your quarry, and yet it is little relief to your straining sanity. You feel like a dog being led by a leash, your fate decided by a cruel master who has long kept you in the dark. You push these gloomy thoughts to the back of your mind and knock on Mr. Engram's door. There is no response but a flock of magpies that scatter from the rooftop at the sudden noise. You try the doorknob, hoping you won't have to resort to more forceful measures. To your surprise, you find the door unlocked. Inside, Nigel's home is a mess of notes, old books, and strange diagrams. Covering the coffee table in his living room is an old faded map bearing many fold creases and tattered edges. It looks to be an incomplete map of the catacombs beneath Paris, or at least a section of it. The food in his pantry is old and rotten. Okay, this is pretty typical of the um, nightmares that they've been experiencing. Um, things being um, tattered, aged, rotten. Okay. There is no sign of anyone having lived here for years, and yet the ink upon the living room walls is wet and fresh. Over and over across nearly every inch of the wallpaper, it reads, he is already here. Okay, so we have found Nigel's home. That's good. We're going to have cultist tokens next game. We did not defeat Jordan Perry. Yeah, he's a big boy. He's, uh, he's tough to defeat. Eight hit points, and he heals every turn. Yuck. And then we're going to gain some victory points. Okay, so we gained one at the, um, in the um, interlude before jumping into this. We have victory points. We've got one, two, three, three, four... Uh, four victory points. Okay, I'll mark that. We've got, yeah, four unspent experience here. And then a fifth one from the um, interlude. Okay, so that went really well, I think. Um, like I was saying, um, because we were able to get clues fast enough to be able to keep this guy, keep this organist locked down, I think we didn't have too much trouble there. Lola was also able to take care of whatever Bia key showed up. So I think that went pretty well. All right, so... Uh, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching and have a great night.